All right, so I feel like I say this all the time, but I got something really cool to open up today. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, now on this channel, I do comic book unboxings, reviews, and everything in between. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, then hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon, that way you're notified when new videos go live. I said that like I got a list, but I was like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, but anyway, today I've got a pretty cool package. Now, you guys know if you followed the channel for a while that um, once upon a time I have a partnership uh, with a company out of Las Vegas called Mainstream Comics. And through that, every single week, I would open up a mainstream mystery box and once a month I would show you guys an OG print, a mainstream OG print um, by the homie Frank Kadar. Frank, Frank Kadar um, is an artist based out of Florida. He has this really beautiful, realistic painted style. Um, you know, think people like Alex Ross or Joe Jusco, uh, Mark Brooks, right? People like that. Uh, they do this hyper realistic style. It looks painted, sometimes watercolor, sometimes airbrushed looking. Um, I don't know how he does it. I'm not an artist. I just appreciate good art when I see it. And so every month I used to love getting those mainstream OG prints. And through my time with mainstream comics, I got to meet these artists, Frank Dar, Ben Ruzica. Um, and so I followed them on Instagram. You know, we've been friendly. We've had conversations. It's been dope. Uh, so anyway, the other day I'm on Instagram and I see that Frank posts on his uh, Instagram story. Hey, I am selling my 2021 sketchbook. I've got five left. They're going to come with an exclusive print. You need to jump on it. And I was like, yo, let me jump on that. So I hit him in the DMs like, yo, how much is it? How do I pay you? I want that. And um, he was like, cool. And here it is. Here it is. So by the way, the last time I looked, there was only one of these left. So I'll leave Frank's information um, in the description below. But my understanding is that when these are gone, these are gone. Hopefully you didn't miss out. Chances are you missed out. But when you see this, hopefully you'll uh, appreciate how dope Frank is as an artist and you won't sleep on him anymore. That's all I can say. Now, I got to be super careful with this because it is and there is an art print in here. So normally I'd be all reckless with this knife, but I got to be I'm trying to be very careful. Let's see if I can just cut into it enough to just lift it up. Boom. All right. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah, we got a good old fashioned unboxing. When's the last time we had a mail call here? Oh, okay. I also don't want to like bend the package. Cause there's a print in here. So let's take this out. Okay. That came out pretty easily put that upside down so you can't see what it is and then anything else in here nice little uh protective cardboard here and inside this bag and board is the frank kadar sketchbook I almost said the frank miller sketchbook frank miller can't paint like this i'll tell you that much um yeah, the Frank Kadar 2021 sketchbook. It's even signed right here. It's signed in black, so it's a little harder to see, but I can see it, and that's dope. So let's open this up. Oh, man, that's awesome. So we got Darth Maul here on the front, and on the back, Ashoka. It's Ashoka, right? That's how you say that? It's Rosario Dawson. <laughs> very, very cool. And so... Here are a bunch of reproductions of prints that he's done over this year, which look very good. It says, all artwork is copyright. Frank Kadar may not be reduced, retransmitted, or rebroadcast without the express written permission of the NBA. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, so look at this. Just on page one, we got this Harley Quinn in the style of Margot Robbie or Robbie. 
We got a smiling Darth Maul there. Gotta love that. Oh man. Look at Yoda and baby Yoda. Gotta love that. More Harley. I feel like I feel like I shouldn't show you this whole sketchbook. I feel like I gotta leave some surprise, right? All right. Here's Spider Woman and Spider Woman, aka Spider Gwen. I think she was actually named Spider Girl in her Earth. I don't remember though. We got Captain Marvel and the Scarlet Witch. Captain Marvel with the Infinity Gauntlet. Man, there is a lot of really cool stuff here. Look at Harvey Dent, Two Face. And Oliver Queen, the Green Arrow in the TV show stylings. Look, man, I don't know how Frank does his art. I don't know if it's colored pencil. I don't know if it's paint. But I'll tell you what, nobody does it like he does. Look at this Joker spread here. This is awesome. Listen, man, this was $35. Very well spent. I'm so excited. I'm so happy about this. Look at the venomized Joker. What? That's awesome. Super awesome. <laughs> we got Spawn, Venom, and Deadpool. Look at Beta Ray Bill there. That is so dope. I shouldn't have bought this. You know why I shouldn't have bought this? Because it makes me want posters of every single print in here. That is amazing. Oh man. Look at Spider-Man and the Sinister Six here. There is so much to love about this. Oh, more Sinister Six action. So much to love about this. I love this so much. So that's super dope. So here's, that's the sketchbook, but there's something else in here too. Uh, if you ordered a sketchbook, then it came with an 11 by 17 print of the sketchbook cover. Look at Darth Maul's head. This is so dope. This is dope. It's kind of scary. I feel like if my daughter walked in here and saw this, she'd be like, oh my gosh, what is that? But I like it. It's dope. It's Star Wars. My family is a big Star Wars family. Like we all, we all love Star Wars. So, first of all, can we like? Can I complain about how Darth Maul was so hyped up in that Episode One trailer, and then like died so unceremoniously, like and got like just like four seconds of action in that movie? Justice for Darth Maul. <laughs> So that is the haul. That's the package. Yo, Frank, where's his social media was shouted out up here. I'm going to put all his social media on the screen and in the description below because you guys need to see this artwork. If you're not following Frank on Instagram, you're missing out. And the best way to get artwork from Frank Kadar is directly from his Etsy shop. And you can also uh, buy a mainstream mystery box. If you buy more than 10 boxes in any or period, then you become a mainstream OG. And once a month, you'll get a signed Frank Kadar print in with the rest of your items. So it's definitely a reason to buy mainstream mystery boxes. But if you want to support the artist directly, then go ahead to Frank Kadar's social media. Go to his Etsy shop. He's got prints for sale right now. I guarantee it. Tell him I sent you because he's the homie. Uh, so that's it for today's video. I hope, I saw, hope you saw some artwork that you liked. And if not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.